Om Namo Narayanaya. Welcome back. Today we start a new chapter. Before I go into this, I feel it's only fair to say I've already read this chapter. I actually sat down and did four videos the other day, and then I uploaded them to YouTube, said it was uploaded, I went to check, and nothing. Completely not there. Uh, I have no idea what happened, but I had already deleted them from both my camera and my computer. So, we're doing it again. So this is not the first take. I know what I'm walking into here. So if I read this a little differently than I do, it's because I've, I've already been through this once. So I just wanted you to know that because so much of what we're doing with the Kama Sutra anyways is all about just getting it together the first time. So here we go. This chapter is called Of Different Kinds of Gain. When a courtesan is able to realize much money every day by reason of many customers, she should not confine herself to a single lover. Under such circumstances, she should fix her rate for one night, after considering the place, the season, and the condition of the people, and having regard to her own good qualities and good looks, and after comparing her rates with those of the other courtesans. She can inform her lovers and friends and acquaintances about these charges. If, however, she can obtain a great gain from a single lover, she may resort to him alone and live with him like a wife. Now, the sages are of an opinion that when a courtesan has the chance of an equal gain from two lovers at the same time, a preference should be given to the one who would give her the kind of thing which she wants. Vatsayana, the author of the sutra, says that the preference should be given to the one who gives her gold, because it cannot be taken back like other things. It can be easily received, and is also the means of procuring anything that may be wished for. Of such things as gold, silver, copper, bell metal, iron, pots, furniture, beds, upper garments, undervestments, fragrant substances, vessels made of gourds, ghee, oil, corn, cattle, and other things of a like nature, the first, gold, is superior to all others. When the same labor is required to gain any two lovers, or when the same kind of thing is to be got from each of them, the choice should be made by the advice of a friend, or it may be made by their personal qualities, or from the signs of good or bad fortune that may be connected with them. When there are two lovers, one of whom is attached to the courtesan, and the other is simply very generous, the sages say that the preference should be given to the generous lover. But Vatsayana is of the opinion that the one who is really attached to the courtesan should be preferred, because he can be made to be generous, even as a miser gives money if he becomes fond of a woman. But a male who is simply generous cannot be made to love with real attachment. But among those who are attached to her, if there is one who is poor and one who is rich, the preference is, of course, to be given to the latter. When there are two lovers, one of whom is generous and the other ready to do any service for the courtesan, some sages say that the one who is ready to do the service should be preferred, but Vatsayana is of the opinion that a man who does a service thinks that he has gained his object when he has done something once, but a generous man does not care for what he has given before. Even here, the choice should be guided by the likelihood of the future good to be derived from her union with either of them. When one of the two lovers is grateful and the other is liberal, some sages say that the liberal one should be preferred, but Vatsayana is of the opinion that the former should be chosen because liberal men are generally haughty, plain smoken, and wanting in consideration towards others. Even though these liberal men have been on Fendry terms for a long time, yet if they see any fault in the courtesan or are told lies about her by some other women, they do not care for past services, but leave abruptly. On the other hand, the grateful man does not at once break off from her on account of regard for the pains she may have taken to please him. In this case, the choice is to be guided with respect to what may happen in the future. When an occasion for complying with the rest excuse me, request of a friend and a chance of getting money come together, the sages say that the chance of getting money should be preferred. But Vatsayana thinks that the money can be attained tomorrow as well as today, but if 
the request of a friend be riot at once complied with, he may become disaffected. Even here in making the choice, regard must be paid to future good fortune. On such occasion, however, the courtesan might pacify her friend by sorry, pretending to have some work to do and telling them that his request will be complied with the next day, and in this way secure the chance of getting the money that has been offered her. When the chance of getting money and the chance of avoiding some disaster come at the same time, the sages are of the opinion that the chance of getting money should be preferred. But Vatsayana says that money has only unlimited importance, while a disaster that is once averted may never occur again. Here, however, the choice should be guided by the greatness or smallness of the disaster. We will pause here with this chapter. I want to make note, there's a word here, and I stumbled upon it the first time, and I haven't gone and checked it. Um, it goes, if the request of a friend be riot at once complied with. I have no, that is not the right word, makes no sense. Um, I have no idea what the word is supposed to be. Um, when I originally read this, there was actually a misspelling someplace else, and I corrected it, but this one, I, I just have no idea what to change it to. That being said, this is part of this Kama Sutra all about the courtesans is a tough one, but there's actually some really interesting things in this section. Um, what I like is she goes, you know, if you have a generous person or this person, you know, someone can be made to be generous, but someone else may not be. The, there are some really interesting things here on human nature. I'm not saying that you should go for the money, or whatever. I'm not endorsing this book, and I never have. But it's it is very interesting. This particular chapter really hits into uh, the dichotomy of of human nature and how some person is and another person is, and how they may or may not reflect on each other. So I find that interesting. It's probably in a while since I've actually found a, a chapter in this book interesting. So, anyways, thank you for joining me. Um, we'll continue this chapter in the next video. Harry Krishna, Harry Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Harry Harry, Harry Rama, Harry Rama, Rama Rama, Harry Harry.